it's Heidi here and I'm holding the camera with my hand so if it looks cattywampus I apologize well today is um, a day that I set aside like an hour to an hour and a half two hours max I'm not spending any more time than that because I have so much to do so um, today I am thoroughly cleaning my kitchen um, to get ready for the holidays you guys okay, so I gathered all of my cleaning stuff that I'm actually going to use yes. okay. and I'm going to start with this side that's why I moved the table to the side this. and then my antique sign and I want to come down and I want to clean all of this chair railing which does no good for us okay. um, I'm going to run my steamer and I have it um, powering up right there I'm going to run the steamer cleaner down here on the baseboards then once I'm done with both sides of doing that I'm going to hit those windows so now I'm starting to do the baseboards and I've got my steamer ready and I'm just going to drag it And then I'm going to take a rag and wipe that off. And what's really nice is that using a steamer, you do not have to use any type of chemicals to clean your house. And that's what I'm going to do now, all the way around. Okay, here I am at my window, and I've already dusted the blinds. So I'm just going to rag it, bit and it sounds awful. <laughs> And so I just take my foam glass cleaner and get the window really good. And I start from top to bottom because if there's anything dusty um, that wants to fall, it will fall down and then I'll be able to get it. And I'm using a microfiber cloth to do this. And I always try to make sure I get the bottom of the blind really good because sometimes people don't think that that part gets dusty, but it does. And I'll have my husband go outside and do outside. He said he would take care of that, so that'll be good. Okay guys, I got everything bleached, but I just wanted to share this with you guys. For those stains that will not come out with common, uh, you know, household bleach, I'm just going to show you. Uh, hopefully you guys see that. Yeah, you can see it. I can see it in the camera. Okay, so you see these dark marks? That is usually from where my coffee pot gets scooted back and forth. It scuffs the counter or... Um, if we come in and like I have wiped off the counters and I didn't get them good and dry and we lay down like a grocery bag or a box, the ink from the grocery bag or the box will actually stick onto this countertop and it's a nightmare to clean off. So this is what I do. Put a little bit of bleach. Those of you that have white countertops, I feel for you. I know your pain. Um, and then I just put some elbow grease into it with a Mr. Clean sponge. And there you go. It's all gone. Clean, clean, clean. And I do that all over the countertop just to make sure I get all the spots out and it works like a charm. Okay, I've got my husband in here cleaning the top of the fridge off for me. And so that's going to be done. Here's my silverware drawer. Nothing fancy. Uh, Dollar Tree silverware um, thingy. Uh, big knives over here because my chopping block um, broke and um, I didn't like it anyways. I really do not like putting my knives down in those holes. I really think that um, 
they are prone to have germs and stuff and dirt inside there and you can't clean them out and it bothers me so um, I like not having a chopping block and just having my knives um, in a drawer where I can keep clean so I'm using these Clorox wipes this is just the Dollar Tree brand of Clorox wipes and I'm just going to quickly just give this um, drawer just a spruce because you know I'll have people getting in and out of here and getting things out of this drawer and this is honestly the only drawer that needs to be cleaned everything else is done um, and then, um, like I said, I need to uh, come over here and get this all bleached and clean. But, you know, I know I'm putting this off because it looks like a complete long time job. But honestly, I just need to get to it and it'll get done. Um, so I'm going to give this a quick spruce and then I'm going to go on to the next step, which will be the stove. Uh, plain and simple I dreaded this job for absolutely no reason it literally took me less than five minutes to clean this and change all the foils I even lifted the range top I cleaned all up and underneath there and I have showed you guys a gazillion times how I clean this that's why I didn't video it because my husband was in and I'm so in the house and I'm so vertically challenged I had him take my um, canisters down okay, so I did a little overview of all all of my cabinets and I am getting my Christmas stuff down today to get it ran through the dishwasher and get it put up but this contact paper is driving me crazy so my husband's actually going to put a new sheet right here sorry this about the rumbling but that's my dishwasher right here but I'm just gonna do a quick tidy in here if you guys have not seen my underneath the sink organization um, it's still working for me it's just that um, I gotta get down here <laughs> I'm old y'all um, for me I I like everything to be easy access in here um, so I try to keep the things that I utilize the most um, in my dog is like why are you on the floor mommy um, <laughs> I try to keep things that I utilize all the time in the front and then I have this that houses all of my cleaning products but I clean day to day and here is one of these I don't want these okay um, I clean day to day so a lot of products I don't really put up until like companies coming over and then I put them in this bin over here usually they stay sitting out somewhere in my house because I use them on a day-to-day -day basis now that's probably weird for some of you all but that's just how I do things cleaning products to me doesn't resemble dirty so anyhow I'm just going to do a quick tidy in here and um, then I'll just kind of show you an overview of what it looks like when I'm done out perfect I got my bin of rags and I'm not worrying about folding them I have so many clothes to fold that if I can't just stuff my rags under here I'm not folding them <laughs> just not um, okay so I've got all my rags in there and that includes um, stuff to clean glass with microfiber cloth just regular rags in general and there's some bigger rags smaller rags you get it and then I've got some uh, some like uh, plastic gloves in that box right there and then I've got all of my pods I use the Costco brand in case you guys want to know show you guys the uh, Kirkland brand dishwasher uh, packs you get a hundred and ten and this lasts me for four months I do not have to buy um, any a dishwasher stuff for four months so that honestly I think that thing cost under twelve dollars um, and I think I get I end up buying them when they're on sale and I think they're like ten bucks and I don't even have to think about buying a uh, dishwasher uh, stuff um, some people have said they don't like them they think they bust um, these do not have liquid in them they're just powder I have never had one bust on me if you keep them away from moisture or whatever you're not going to have an issue with them so honestly I've never had an issue with them and I think that they do an awesome job and I'm very picky about my dishes and how clean they are down here I keep my dry um, what are these um, Swiffer pads 
I use tons of those by the way. And then I have a container here that I use to fill, put water in my steamer, um, my, um, my floor steamer. I keep my um, trash bags here. I tell you I buy Kirkland brand trash bags as well and they last me almost six months and I don't have to buy uh, trash bags all year long. Just saying, six months worth of trash bags for the price that I pay is so worth it. I keep my drying mat over here in the corner and the rest is just miscellaneous cleaning stuff and some bug spray because um, we had um, flies this year like crazy um, and we had ants. So we have ant issue and fly issue and we have it every year and it's usually right outside my front door and I use that spray and it takes care of it. I have one extra thing way back there and I know you can't see it and it's dishwasher powder this time. So um, I am just putting out my few little doodads that are clean because I'm gonna put, I like to put special stuff in here. And then I put some Christmas mugs up here. Okay guys, completely clean and completely ready for the holidays, the birthdays, Thanksgiving, everything. <laughs> so I'll just kind of pan around here just a bit to kind of do a little overview of what was accomplished and all of the dishes that was washed, the table, top to bottom, the walls, everything the light fixture everything all except for the cake not being ate <laughs> but i'm so glad you just do not know how it feels to have everything um you know in its place where it needs to be everything is gone through you know you're ready for the holidays you know what you have what you don't have and i just love that that's why i start every holiday this way um and I went through my plates. These are my Christmas plates. These are my regular dinner plates. They're Corel wear. Um, the only thing that I noticed was is I don't have a lot of dessert plates, but um, that is on the list to get. So that'll be great to get that. But I hope y'all enjoyed today. Oh, lastly, my husband scrubbed out the garbage can. You want a clean, fresh smelling trash can when you have in company over for any type of event. So that is done. Um, I do keep this window uh, blind open because my doorway is very narrow and that way that gives me visual when some, we have a lot of people that just stop by uh, my kids' friends and stuff and I just don't open the door um, to everybody, <laughs> you know, so, um, so yeah, and I swept and I mopped so the floor's all clean, the, um, all of the appliances have been wiped down, everything's been done, so I am so glad to finally get this done, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I will be talking to you guys again soon, have a wonderful Thanksgiving.